What's up YouTube? Just cooking breakfast right now. Today is an off day. Yesterday we should have played the Rochester Rhinos at home, but I don't know how closely you guys follow the USL or my team or anything, but our stadium has had a little bit of a problem. Due to like pretty intense rain here and up north, the river right next to our stadium flooded and it flooded bad. And it pretty much engulfed our whole field, the bleachers, up into like even the locker rooms. But luckily, from what I've heard, the damage isn't that bad. Um, but we were forced to cancel or postpone this, the game this weekend. So yesterday we just did like an intra squad scrimmage and uh, it was tiring. Very tough week, but yeah, so that's just what's been up lately with my life. Uh, so we already worked out this morning. I did a little leg workout. Actually, so did Mimi too. But for breakfast, we're just having like the all-American breakfast. Eggs, bacon, hash browns, and then some strawberries. So it's a beautiful day outside, like 75 and sunny. So me and Mimi are gonna go to downtown St. Louis. So absolutely beautiful day today. It's like 75 and sunny right at Ballpark Village. Me and Mimi are just walking around. Mimi and I are just walking around, exploring Bush Stadium, looking at the arch, just enjoying the day. Also try to go up to the top of the uh, the arch, but it was closed. I guess they sold out. So looks like we're just on foot today. Anyway, we're done exploring. We're about to go back home. Back home now, and it's like four or five o'clock. I need to do a ton of work. I'm probably going to be seated here doing work for the rest of the night, and then. Uh, but tomorrow I'll show you like a really good gym session. I'm going to do like a push day. And then I'll also show you a like a tight space training that I'm gonna to try to do on a tennis court. So stay tuned for that. All right, so I'm gonna do a voiceover about my lift. Uh, so it was a push workout, so I would mainly focus on chest and shoulders and a little bit of triceps. I started off with just dumbbell bench press. I grabbed the 80 pound dumbbells and I got 12 reps and I did this for one set. And again, I'm just focusing on just good form, pushing the the weight up, keeping my feet locked, and just like, you know, I'm just really trying to get like a good 12 reps in. Bait pretty much to failure on this one. And then after this one set, I went heavier. So after I started warming up and after I was done warming up, I went up and grabbed the 90 pound dumbbells, and then I did four sets of five reps. So here's the 90 pounds right here. And again, just trying to keep everything smooth, keep it in control, touch the weight to my chest, push up, pause for a second at the top, and then just continue with the reps. I'm doing a little bit of lower reps this time just to focus on a little bit more power and exertion but really good i mean five reps with the 90s is pretty good for me i usually you know top out around 90 95 pounds when it comes with that then after that i went to the incline bench press just put 45s on each side and try to get 10 reps just solid bar to the chest tap and go all the way up trying to make it so i'm not pausing at the top for that long except until at the end when i get tired like now but at the beginning, just kind of tap and go real quick. And then so I did four sets of this on the incline bench press. And then after that, I went to the squat rack, put on a 25 on each side, and then just did shoulder press. And watch as you see, I'm touching my chest. And then as at the very top of the movement, I'm like poking my head through just to really finish and squeeze the shoulders, put emphasis on the shoulders. I'm not using any jerking motion, like kind of like with the legs at all, except for the very last rep right there, just to try to get one more. And that was it. So I did like four sets of the big compound movements for the chest and then for the shoulders. And that was pretty much my full push workout, just heavier weight and try to focus on that. And then I wanted to do like two movements for the abs. So I grabbed like a 70 pound dumbbell here, went to the decline bench and did 10 reps with the 70 pounds, trying to keep the weight over my head. And on this, I'm not crunching up. I'm trying to just bring my forehead and the weight up to the ceiling, try to touch the dumbbell to the ceiling. That's what really, you know, is better for your back and activates the core a lot. I like to go heavy with this, four sets, 10 reps of that, and it was killer. My abs are on fire. Then after this, I actually saw a guy 
in the gym the other day do this one, so I just want to try it out. I went to the squat rack, kind of went, so I had the safety bars right there, put 135 pounds on the whole bar, and then you hold it up, and while you're holding it up, you do like leg uh, raise it straight up to the bar and to the left and to the right, basically touching the weight with your legs. And this, like my entire core, I just felt it like a ton. And it was such a cool contrast going from the, the decline bench where it's like really like my abs felt like they were going to rip apart on the decline like bench uh, sit-ups. And then to go this where this was like a total core activation. I really liked the, the contrast between those, those two exercises. So that was really fun. But anyway, I did four sets and really just kind of went until I couldn't go anymore. I didn't have any set reps or anything, but very good push workout with some app work. So something I've been wanting to do is like do like a tight technical, like small space, kind of like dribbling training session where it's like all like within like a yard, kind of like, like my one by one yard box training session I have up on YouTube, but just like something that's 20 minutes long, uh, not that tiring, like not that physically demanding, but who is gonna increase and help my technical skills in tight spaces, because that's something that is a weakness of mine, and I'm always looking to improve. So I'm gonna do a little session right now. Um, Mimi, we're just gonna do like no edit, but just like, just show you guys the drills, show you my actual touches, no dope camera angles or anything. But um, yeah, we'll see what's up with that. But yeah, and then this also just goes to show that like, I mean, we just literally drove around until we found like a kind of cool spot to like film. And this is just like a cement, I don't even know what this is, a cement. Oh, what is this, Mimi? I have no idea. It's like a parking lot in a It's a park. stage in a parking lot. Yeah, so we're just gonna do this here. I mean, literally you can do this inside, you can do this in your garage, you can do this on your deck, you can do this in your room, you can do this in a field, you can do this in space, whatever. So I'm gonna, ooh. So the plan for today is to do like 20 different exercises and do each one for like 45 seconds on and 15 second rest. And the exercises are all like very like, you know, tight space, technical stuff, maybe like 15 seconds to set up the thing, but should be out here for 20 minutes or so. And again, no cool edit. I just want to show you the soccer. I just want to show you the football. <laughs> That's my English accent. I'm actually going to do another voiceover. You guys lucked out. You got two voiceovers, one video, but, um, I just want to kind of go over what I did this training session. And so, like I said before, I did every single exercise or every single drill for 45 seconds on and then rested anywhere from like 15 to 30 seconds to even like a minute depending on setting up the drill and then if I talk to the camera and etc. But anyway, um, I'm just, you know, really trying to get a small, technical, tight drill. I try to keep everything very tight and controlled. And then this is all like the raw footage that you're seeing right now. Like I'm gonna mess up here soon. I'm, I try to push myself. I'm constantly messing up. I talk about it later, but it's just everything. So at first I did the V taps with both feet. And this is V taps with just the right foot. As you see, I messed up. If I messed up, I just kept the timer going, quickly got the ball back and continued on with the set. Try to keep it very quick. If I messed up, I don't wanna like pause. But anyway, I'm gonna give you some raw clips. I'm gonna come in every now and then. It's not going to be a full voiceover, but here's the left foot with the V-taps. And I like to put the cones there just as like a guide. You don't need the cones at all, but that's just personally something that I like. Again, messed up, fixed the cone, and went straight back into it. So every time right before the drill, I just set my clock or my, the timer on my iPhone to go and then I would just kind of peek down at it while I'm doing it and wait until I got to that 45 second mark. And as soon as I got to the 45 second mark, then I would pause. And then same thing, like I, this is like all the real time clips. I'm not doing any editing out my mistakes. I wanna show you when I mess up, when I do something correctly. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, the real, the raw footage. Sometimes I would mess up as well and I wouldn't like even stop it. Like I think um, on this one, I'm not sure, but there's one of the drills where I kind of like mess up and I continue to do it even though the cone's a little bit off. I definitely did that in the Ronaldinho drill, which you'll see here soon. But yeah, I call this like a tight space cone weave. So I did it with just the right foot, just the left foot, and this is both feet. Just kind of weaving around it, you know, just making up my own patterns again in a very, very small space. So at this point, I've already done six sets of exercises. My goal is to do 20. 
So this is the seven set right now. I call this the figure eight swoop. I'm just trying to keep it in control. This was a, this is difficult to do on cement or like a flat surface because the ball just rolls so much. It's hard to keep it in control. Two, one. I'm doing two sets of this just because I, I, I wasn't 100% happy with how that first set went. So I did this again. So this is my A set right now. After that, I kept the cone formation the exact same. And instead of using the inside of my, of my foot to swoop the ball around the cone, I'm doing small touches with the outside. And then I do it just with the right foot, hop over the other side, and quickly go to the left. Just to try to keep tons of touches on the ball, keep it tight, controlled, and quick transitions. <clears throat> so that's the halfway point. 10 drills, or 10 sets. A little over 10 minutes now. We're gonna do 10 more minute long sets and that'll be a total of 20 minute workout. I'm sweating, this is harder than I thought. I call this a technical square drill and there's really no pattern exactly to this. I kind of just try to go once around one of the cones on the left and then once around the cones on the right, trying to keep it like a square motion around each cone. But yeah, just so I go with the right foot around either the front or back cone then around one of the cones on the left with the left foot. And so I did ended up doing two sets of this. So that was my 11th and 12th set now. I'm really sweating. I'm really feeling it. It's, it's, it's hard. That 15 second rest time is killer. And this, see, like I messed up there and without even fixing the cone, I just wanted to keep doing the drill. And this is with the right foot now. So I'm doing the entire thing with the right foot. And then again, after that, I did the entire thing with the left foot. Again, no real pattern, just trying to go through around all the cones. And then this is like a zigzag cone weave, but in a very, very tight space. I'm using all the right foot as soon as I get to the end. I actually messed up right there, kind of did a little bit wrong, but I'm just trying to weave around the cones as soon as I get to the end, do a little turn, come right back into it. Again, my phone's right next to me, so every time I get close to it, I kind of peek down at the phone, do a little vision, you know, see where I'm at, and then keep continuing on with it. And for 45 seconds. And right. And time. Like today, today, I mean, it's been tough because like we had a team training this morning. I went and lifted, which you saw. Now I'm doing this, you know, because I'm just, I want to put in a little bit extra work every single time. You know, if you're doing 20 minutes of ball work and everybody else isn't, then you're getting like, and you do that consistently. You're gonna improve so much and like again like I said especially in season like I'm listening to my body if I felt too tired or sore or fatigued I wouldn't come out here but today I felt great I felt motivated and uh, we have an off day tomorrow as well so you know why not why not come out here and do a little bit more work I'm already past my minute or 15 second rest period I gotta do the left ready mm -hmm. start three two one I know you guys have seen this drill before. Three, two, one. So this is a very, very tight uh, Ronaldinho drill. Like I think there's only like four to six inches between each cone. So it's very, very difficult. I try to go very fast and as you see, I mess up a lot. But again, just trying to push myself. I actually talk about this a little bit later um, in person, but yeah, like look, I'm messing up all around, but just trying to like ignore it and just keep pushing through it, trying to be very creative using every part, no pattern at all just have, being creative and having fun with it. And he's done it. Fix your cones. Okay. And go.
Oh, I just tried to go. <laughs> As you guys can see, I mess up a lot. And like, because I'm a big believer, it's like, if you're not messing up in your training, it means you're not going as fast as you possibly can. And there's a time and place where you want to try to be perfect, but most of the time, you want to be pushing. All right, so one more set of the Ronaldinho drill, then two more sets left. Let's do it. So I ended up doing three sets of this Ronaldinho drill just because it's, it's honestly one of my all time favorite drills. It just works on so much, just creativity, instinctive dribbling, tight space control, I love it. But anyway, so I did three sets of this and you can even tell a little bit that like my third set is a little bit better than my first and second set just because I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with it and I'm just getting used to it and just it just shows how fast an improvement could be. Three, two, one. The final drill that I did for my 19th and 20th set is just put two cones about five yards apart from each other and I would just do a couple touches and then do a cut and it was like inside the foot, outside the foot, Cruyff turn, pull back tap, pull back, front pull back. I just was creative, no rules, just cutting the ball back and forth between the two. It's perfect, perfect timing. For 45 seconds. One more, one more. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, good start. Keep going. Three, two, one. Easy. So I pushed myself a little bit harder than I expected. I made the drills a little bit more challenging. 15 second rest time was killer, but I mean, even, even sometimes I like went over the 15 second rest time when I talked or setting up the next drill. <sighs> Great session. And look, that was like, what, 25 minutes, 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. Great session. Feeling good, feeling exhausted, and I'm excited for my rest day tomorrow. And by rest day, I'm going to the gym and doing like a back workout. <laughs> so that's the video. Hope you guys liked it. Did a lot of stuff in this video. I try to condense it down. Hope you liked the training session. And literally, I did this in, how big is the space, Mimi? What, five yards by 10 yards? Yes. And I could, eat, most of the time I spent like, I was in like a one by one yard box, so like, Whenever anybody always goes, like I get so many times, like, Matt, I can't train. I don't have access to a field. I don't have access to goals. Matt, I can't do it because I'm snowed in. Matt, it's raining outside. I can't train, I can't train, I can't train. And like, like I literally just did an amazing, amazing training session with a ball. I don't even need the cones. I could do the exact same thing without the cones or just rolled up socks like I used to do when I was little. Just roll up socks and use them. It's just like, there is, just go out, just do it. You know, you don't need to, you don't need anything. You, all you need is a ball and just balls to do the thing. <laughs> I can fly.